Hi everybody, this is Mr. Mintner in our very, very first screencast from South Middle School on measurement. If you look up here, I've got uh, uh, some tools here. This here is a balance. These are graduated cylinders and this is a ruler. It's always important to know what tool you're going to use uh, for the job that needs to get done. In this case, I would want to find the mass of something, so I'd use this graduated cylinder. Being aware that it says 0, 0.0 grams, it is good to the tenth of a gram. Not beyond that, no more, no less. That is, that is the precision of that instrument. If I go over here, there are different size graduated cylinders. That's good to find the volume of a liquid. And using Archimedes' principle later on in the year, when we do density, we'll look at figuring out how to find the volume of a solid, especially an irregular shaped solid, using this. And then down here we have a ruler. These are centimeters with 10 marks between each, which would be millimeters. So we will look at these. It's really important to know what tool you're going to use for uh, the job that you need to get done. So I am going to go to the next slide. And what we've got here is a graduated cylinder. And what I want you to, to notice is this dude here, he's looking at eye level. you got to get down at eye level and look at the graduated cylinder. You can't look from above and you can't look from below. you got to be right at eye level. What they don't show is that usually you would have a white sheet of paper back here, you know, somewhere so that it blocks this background and that he can just focus on that. You could take a white sheet of paper or put your hand back there, but something so you're not being distracted by the background. The reason that's important is if I look here, this, this water will creep up the edge of this graduated cylinder and, and form this little thing down at the bottom called the meniscus. And that's because water adheres to the sides of things really, really well. And that's important because without that, the water couldn't get from the roots of a tree up to the leaves of a tree. There are trees that are 300 feet tall, and somehow that water's got to get up to the top. And that adhesion to the sides is, is really, really important in something called xylem, which we may talk about later on in the year. But if we look right here, if I'm going to look right here at the meniscus at the bottom, I'm going to say that is 50. Right up here is 60, and each one of these lines is 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, so on. So if I'm looking, these are good to the nearest milliliter. So 51, 52, 53 milliliters. And I could call that down here 53 milliliters. All right? But if I look closely, I can say, hey, that's not quite right on the 53 point. It's just below it. So I can always estimate. I can always go down here and say, actually, I'm going to say that is 52 point, I want to, I'm going to make that a point 0.9, that's really, really close, milliliters. So even though this is only good to the nearest milliliter, I can go to the nearest, I can give an answer to the nearest tenth of a milliliter, knowing that the last digit that I give is one with uncertainty. There's always some uncertainty in the last digit in a measurement, and this is, this is the last digit right here, because these are only good to the nearest milliliter but I estimate in between and that last digit becomes uncertain. And that's important when we, when we um, report data that we, give, that we do it in a proper way. So if I go clear that, go to the next one, and if I look at the next one, what I want you to do is I want you to do this one. I'm going to stop, pretend you're just going to stop the video and you're going to try this on your own and let's pretend you're at eye level, so this would be at eye level here, and, and read this one. Go ahead and stop and do it, and then we'll check your answer. Okay, we're back. Thanks a lot for stopping. And if we look at this, I'm going to say that's 70 right here, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, and that looks right on that line for me. So I'm going to say 76, 76. But because I can estimate that last one, I'm going to go ahead and see 76.0 milliliter, knowing that this one right here is not exact, but it's an estimation. And I'm estimating that that is right on that line, real close to that line. So I'm going to say 76.0. So that's what we're going to do. The last number when we do measurement is always uh, has some uncertainty built into it. Okay. So let me go on to the next slide, and here we have a ruler. And I'm going to look up here, and I've got 41 centimeters, 42 centimeters. And if I'm looking at this, 
that's 41.5 centimeters, 41.6, and it's not right on there. If you look, it goes just past that. I think it goes about, I'm going to say, I'm going to say um, 41.64 centimeters. Knowing that this last number is not on the ruler, it's an estimation between, so it's got a little uncertainty. But I can go to the hundredth on this, knowing that the hundredth place has got some uncertainty. Now, when I do this, it's really, really important to know that that uncertainty means something. So if I'm going to check this out, if I go to dashboard here, and I say clear 41.6 centimeters, and I'm going to multiply that. I'm doing a problem with it. I multiply it by 9.37, and I get this, 389.792 uh, centimeters. Well, this is, this is what we call calculator diarrhea here. Sometimes these numbers go on and on and on and on. And what you need to understand is this tool, those numbers tell us something about the tool, and this tool is only as good as to the nearest tenth and then we estimate after that. If we go beyond that we're pretending we've got a tool that's much much better than that and we don't. So when we report measurements we report them to a certain degree of certainty and, and those are called significant figures which we're going to talk about in the next next video. But I cannot call this anything but say 41.6 Four, or I could have called it 41.63, 66 because this last number is an estimation. But if I start adding numbers to this, it means that I've got a ruler that can measure to this kind of precision, and I don't. All right, so these numbers mean something. I can only report to the, to the degree at which the ruler goes to and then estimate in between. And that goes the same thing for... Uh, graduated cylinders and and the good news is you don't have to worry about this on a, on a balance here because it will tell you right here to the nearest tenth so the answer is always going to be to the nearest tenth because that's a degree of certainty so if someone gives you if they do some calculations and they tell you that it's oh 42.6798 grams I'm gonna say that's crazy because this balance was only good to the tenth. So I might say 42.7, I'll, I'll round up, but I can't go any higher than that, all right? We will work on some measurements. We will do some things in class. I hope this makes sense. Feel free to watch it as many times as you want. There's gonna be another video on significant figures and conversions. Thanks for watching our very, very first screencast. Have a good day.